if you have the sense that you came here with a mission or that you came from somewhere else for this especially intense, potent evolutionary time on Earth, it is highly likely that you are a starseed or a wanderer, a soul that originated in another star system or chose to return and incarnate in a 3D experience to be of service to others. My name is Natalie Rose Martin, and I support Awakening Ones, including Starseeds and Wanderers, to land your gifts, deliver your mission, and set yourself free. A big part of the journey is learning to manage the intensity of life on Earth. I want to acknowledge that Earth is really challenging. It's harder than we could have anticipated to be here. This is a story I hear a lot, and I know it's a story I have lived myself. This place is really intense. It can be easy to slide into longing for home, waiting for it to be over, or waiting to be rescued by our people and taken back where we belong. I wanna offer some perspective on this. If we consider the time scale of the entire journey of a soul, this one dinky little earth life is just a blip on that timeline. This one brief incarnation on planet earth is a drop in the bucket of the scope of experience of an expanded soul. This thought provides me with so much relief, freedom, and motivation. Because while we primarily come here to serve others, we also come with our own lessons to work with and refine. Our experience and learning is a valuable asset to our star family, and you can bet our people are witnessing our journeys and learning right along with us. Make it worth their time, energy, and attention, and yours. Can you imagine spending your whole life here longing to go home? only to find yourself on the other side, realizing that you missed out on opportunities that you wanted to have. I imagine I'd feel disappointed and frustrated with myself, though I also think those emotions are much less available there. One of the reasons Earth is so appealing is the intensity of emotion and sensation available here. So go ahead and feel it all. Soak it up. As challenging as it can be, the invitation I want to offer is to fully arrive here and really dive in and make the most of it. Suck the marrow out of the bone of this life and experience all it comes with, which includes discomfort and pain. For some, it's more physical pain. For others, it's more emotional pain. And there's the ubiquitous spiritual pain of the sense of separation from source. That is, as I understand it, a special feature of 3D Earth designed so we can all have the experience of separation. So we'll have this pain to navigate with, mental emotional pain, childhood wounding, anxiety, depression. We might feel overwhelmed by the amount of suffering we perceive on the planet. We might feel the collective suffering on the planet. That can be really intense. There might be a physical injury or ailment to integrate. The way I hold that is often physical things are signals to direct our attention to underlying mental, emotional, spiritual distortions that precipitate down into the body. Typically when we resolve the underlying cause, the physical stuff goes away. Sometimes there is a pre-incarnative choice to have a particular injury or ailment because having that limitation guides us towards the mission we came here to deliver and the lessons we came here to learn. For folks who feel overwhelmed by the collective suffering on the planet, there's usually some work wanting to be done around energetic boundaries the ability to contain and feel the self and to differentiate between self and other, or what is not self. These are just some of the ways we can turn our attention toward our real work here, become more embodied and fulfill our purpose. 
if you have the sense that you incarnated here to deliver some mission at this time and you find yourself stuck, mired on the couch, or unable to engage with the world at the level that would have you delivering the mission, and you don't even have to know what the mission is, it's likely there's something that is not being accessed which results in stagnation and being mired in inaction. So the invitation is to go deeper into whatever discomfort that's underneath the inertia. Get curious about it, fully explore it, ask it questions, be willing to fully hear it, learn from it, and integrate what you receive. This process will most likely lead you to your gifts. Avoidance is a major maintaining cause. And the maintaining cause is something present in the system or environment that assists in maintaining a distortion or a dis-ease. The process of turning towards and fully being with our discomfort brings it into the alchemical container of our awareness within which things can begin to shift and transmute into the reciprocal or opposite emotional experiences of acceptance, peace, contentment, and joy. There is a lot of conditioning in our culture in general and in spiritual communities about being good, productive, and light. And that conditioning can contribute to a layer of shame around our wounds. Shame is such a deeply uncomfortable feeling that we unconsciously avoid it with everything we have. So you can see how shame is an underlying cause of avoidance. I think just knowing this can be helpful and cultivating a sense of acceptance about shame itself can rapidly unwind it so we can access whatever is beyond it. It's important to be able to process emotion in a responsible way, which includes the capacity to contain it. This doesn't mean to stuff it down or ignore it, but to really create a container of the self or of awareness or of the body, time, privacy, or you may want support. The idea here is to be able to fully express whatever is asking for our attention without causing drama or harming our relationships. Gentle awareness is your greatest ally in this process. It increases acceptance and supports integration, which leads to metabolization. The transmutation that's available through metabolizing uncomfortable experiences liberates vital life force energy and fuels creativity and action. I continually have the experience myself and witness others coming out the other side with new motivation, ideas, and energy to affect real change in the world. So stop longing to be somewhere you're not. You will get to go back there. You get to go home. For now, for this brief moment in time, when you have a huge potential for impact, Surrender fully to this life on earth and all that it comes with. I could sum this up as three simple, not easy, but simple steps. One, relinquish reluctance. Two, embrace incarnation. And three, metabolize fuel. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, join the Technologies of Consciousness class I'm offering. You can register below. And if you want some easy support, use the link below to access the Get Your Shit Together checklist, which is full of sage advice about self-care on Earth. Take care and see you next time.